we live in a world where wealth inequality is ever rising. A study carried out by Oxfam concluded that the wealth of the top 8 billionaires equals that of 3.6 billion other people in the world today. While arbitrary laws have so far hindered individuals from amassing obscene amounts of wealth, that could change as the entities which control power evolve. The most powerful entities in the future could be large multinational corporations, religious groups, clusters of countries such as NATO, or perhaps something we never saw coming. Point is, the groundwork which could eventually lead to the rise of the first trillionaire is being laid today. For a much more present idea of who could be the first trillionaire, we look no further than Amazon's CEO, Jeff Bezos. His wealth has grown by over $65 billion in the last five years, and he currently oscillates between first and second richest in the world, trading places with the likes of Index Founder, Amancio Ortega, and Bill Gates. Given Amazon's irresistible rise and its domination of several markets around the world, there's a strong possibility Jeff Bezos could be the one to crack the trillion dollar mark. Before we look into the industries that could potentially foster the first trillionaire, we need to look at the history of wealth. No one is quite sure who the first millionaire was, but the first time the word millionaire was used was in an obituary describing the life of New York tobacco manufacturer Pierre Lauriard in 1843. The first billionaire, on the other hand, was well recorded in the person of John D. Rockefeller. His venture into the oil trade in the early 1900s saw him earn just over $900 million in a single year. Currently, a total of just over 1,800 people made the 2016 Forbes billionaire list, representing a combined wealth of $6.5 trillion. Now, any aspiring trillionaire would need to consider certain factors before they commit to a particular industry. Is it highly profitable? Does the product you hope to bring to market possess strong demand? And lastly, is it rapidly scalable, or at least easily transportable across the globe? There are several industries that meet these requirements, and we will begin with the most obvious, which is space. Whether it be asteroid mining, or space-based energy generation, the final frontier promises vast amounts of wealth to those that can properly harness its resources. Despite the myriad of complexities asteroid mining faces before it can be seen as a viable business venture, a handful of private companies including Deep Space Industries, Kepler Energy, and Planetary Resources have drawn up plans to get into the asteroid mining game. We also need to note that for asteroid mining to become successful, mining firms would need to find elements that are extremely scarce here on Earth. These include gold, silver, platinum, and a few others. Beyond valuable elements, asteroids could be mined for building materials to carry out the construction of off-world ventures like a moon colony or a large space-based habitat. NASA estimates the asteroid belt, which lies between Mars and Jupiter, holds over 1 million asteroids, which are valued at $700 quintillion. If that money were shared on Earth today, each person would receive over $100 billion each. Back on the surface of the Earth, space-based companies could make billions, if not trillions, of dollars supplying electricity to the world via orbital solar farms. An orbiting solar array could deliver up to 40 times the annual amount of energy that a similar cell could generate on the ground. Add in the fact that these solar arrays are still technically satellites that could be moved to any point over the Earth in mere hours and beam energy to cities that need it on demand. The first global currency will likely be a cryptocurrency. Bitcoin, Ethereum and the other digital currencies operate outside the realm of highly regulated nation-based economies due to the revolutionary blockchain technology. Bitcoin, as we know, was created by the mysterious figure known only as Satoshi Nakamoto in 2009. As of today, a single Bitcoin is worth thousands of dollars, but the value is estimated to reach over a million dollars per Bitcoin in the next 15 years. Satoshi Nakamoto owns at least a million bitcoins that have been untouched and stored in multiple addresses to which only he knows the private key. This was confirmed by a prominent bitcoin security researcher who noticed Nakamoto was the sole miner during the initial months of the bitcoin system and owns all the addresses to which the system rewarded bitcoins at the time. 
A simple calculation would show that if Bitcoin were to ever reach a valuation of $1 million, it would make Nakamoto the first trillionaire to ever exist. Crazier still, no one would know who he was. The Winklevoss twins purchased 120,000 Bitcoin at an $11 million valuation in early 2013. Today, the Bitcoins they purchased are worth over $1.6 billion. The twins further emphasized that they would not sell their bitcoins even when its market cap surpasses that of gold at $8 trillion. It's a possibility they are holding out until their store of coins reaches the trillion dollar mark. In recent times, several companies have made great strides in an effort to bring artificial intelligence to every aspect of our lives, but their inventions are flawed. The AI we see today in software and physical applications are usually function specific or better known as targeted AI. It is entirely possible that the first individual to create true general purpose AI could very well be the first trillionaire. To understand just how important general purpose AI would be in the future, we must first consider what qualifies an AI as general purpose. It first needs to be able to solve problems in a wide variety of use cases. It should be usable by someone who really doesn't understand the AI being employed. And lastly, it should be easy to connect to a business domain. An AI with all the capabilities mentioned could, for example, mine asteroids autonomously in the deep reaches of space, diagnose patients and carry out surgeries without the help of a human, or maybe even build entire cities on its own. Such an advanced and highly efficient AI would be sought after by every company on the face of the earth which would mean big bucks for whichever company makes it. After considering all the possibilities, realistically, the first trillionaire will likely have his or her money in multiple industries. On the other hand, earning money has always been a poor way of assessing the true worth of an individual. The idealist in me hopes for a future when our pursuit of unending wealth is replaced with compassion and a sense of responsibility towards each other. After all, we are all we've got. It is, however, more realistic that our thirst for the consolidation of wealth will only increase as we spread out into the known universe. And if that is the case, my hope is that the acquisition of such wealth leads to the creation of new industries and innovations with direct benefits to our species, which would be a win-win situation. Please click the like and subscribe button below if you enjoyed the video, and if you want a heads up when I release new content, you can hit the notification button and follow my Twitter account as well. See you in the next one.